this this uh, response is warranted because the structure of the written judgment has been misleading to the people of Barbados. And so I shall now give my response. The current pomp parading by the NCF of its arbiter's decision dated November 16, 2023 is a display by which the Barbadian public taking the decision at face value would be entirely deceived. The disqualification of the Speak Life piece of the Praise Academy of Dance by the NCF or NIFCA on October 27th, 2023 was stated on the basis that the piece was in breach of section 9B of the rules and was in poor taste. A fuller explanation of the grounds of breach was stated in the ruling of the arbiter as denouncing various gender identities of the LGBTQ plus community via raging characterizations and expressions, or in my words, as discriminatory to the LGBTQ plus community. The Peace Speak Life is a piece based entirely on science and the Holy Scripture. The piece explores the different biological chromosomal makeup of male and female. It presents a Christian viewpoint of gender identity and sexual orientation. And on this basis declares from a Christian worldview that there are two genders only. The disqualification by the NCF of this piece on the grounds of discrimination, therefore amounts to a ban of the expression of the Christian faith as it relates to topics of gender and sexual identity on a government owned, tax funded NIFCA or NCF stage and marks one of the first known instances of the oppression of the manifestation of the faith in Jesus Christ in Barbados. I just want us to really take this in, the importance of what has happened. It was the argument of the Praise Academy of Dance before the arbiter that the decision of the NIFCA judging panel was illegal and unconstitutional. The arbiter rightly held that he has no jurisdiction to rule on the constitutionality of the decision by the NIFCA panel. In fact, he went further to state that he would not be saying that it was discriminatory or it wasn't discriminatory. He would not be saying that it was constitutional or it was unconstitutional. That is for the court to determine. Those were the words of the arbiter. Unfortunately, Mr. Nichols did not leave the matter there. Instead, he decided to make a decision not on whether Praise Academy of Dance's work was disqualified rightfully or wrongfully, but as to whether the NIFCA or NCF judging panel was within the NCF or NIFCA rules, regardless of whether those rules are illegal. In taking this route, the arbitration became an exercise in futility. This matter was one to be left to the Supreme Court of Barbados. Rather, there is the misleading statement that the arbiter has not found any basis to overturn the decision of the judges splashed all over the Barbadian media. In light of the arbiter's lack of jurisdiction to deal with the real substance of the case before him, the arbiter had no proper basis to affirm the NCF decision in the way that he has done. Indeed, it is my opinion that in the written judgment, it should have been expressly stated 
what jurisdiction was exercised and what limitations existed. What is most unpleasant about this pump raid though is the eagerness of the NCF or NIFCA to claim victory, even if it allows the understanding of the truth of the matter to be twisted and people to be misled. In my opinion, it is a shameful day for the National Cultural Foundation. Thank you.